Now let's look at exercise 8. Exercise 8 is very interesting because this time we haven't been given any information regarding the geometric parameters per se in terms of a base length, any size of the triangle or even a base angle. This time we've been given something regarding the perimeter of the triangle and the perimeter is simply the distance around the periphery of the triangle. So for this particular activity, we've been challenged to construct a triangle which has a perimeter measuring 200 millimeters. And we've been given some information regarding the portion of the size and the ratio is given at four is to five is to six. So let's have a go working through this particular problem. All right folks, so let's start looking at exercise A. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to draw a line. So, I think we should do it. So I'm going to describe a line like so. Let's make it a bit more visible. I think so, describe it a bit. And part of the reason why I'm not going to really deepen this line is this line is not going to characterize the base. This line is simply going to characterize the perimeter. And we're going to use the ratios to proportion this line for us to find the size of the triangle. And that's basically what we're going to be doing. So the first thing I need to do is I need to define the measure of the perimeter. So what I want to do is I want to measure 10 millimeters. I'm going to stand at one end. Scribe like so. Stand at this end. Scribe at the end. And I'm just going to stand here. Scribe like so. I'm going to just simply describe that. Describe that. And that'll give us our 200. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to call that 1, 2, Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to define this by a different color. So I'm just going to define that like so. Okay, so that just stands out. So this brings us to a technique that we learned um, a few lessons ago, division of lines. So what are we going to do regarding division of lines? Well, we have to divide this in terms of the sum of the ratio. So for this particular problem, the ratio is given as 4 is to 5 is to 6, right? Which means that if we add the ratio, this would give us a total of 15. So we need to divide this line by 15. So what are we going to do? How are we going to do that? So, as I did previously, we're going to stand at one point. So we can either stand at one end of uh, the line. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw an acute angle respect to the line, like so. And I'm doing it this way just to bring it to frame. So let's do that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a compass up into any reasonable distance. So I'm going to make that 15 so that everything is within frame. And I'm going to stand at one and cut two then at two cut for three then at three cut for four then at four cut for five then at five cut for six then at six cut for seven then at seven cut for eight then at eight and cut for nine and so on and so forth till we get 15 divisions of 10 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. So I'm just going to extend this a little bit. Okay, so now that we've done that, I'm going to number the lines for reference purposes. So I'm just going to call this one. Three, four, five, six. 
seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. So we've got fifteen divisions. So what's the next point of action? The next point of action is I'm going to connect the end of the perimeter to division 50, like so. And once that's done, the next part is to get a set square. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to place a set square, like so. And what I'm going to do is using, I think it's best for me to use a 45 degree set square because at least that is shorter. So I'm just going to do it like so. And I'm going to shift and draw lines parallel to the divisions to cut the perimeter or the line representing the perimeter. So that's basically what I'm going to do. So I'm going to put a rule underneath and I'm going to take my time to project and cut similar to what I did previously so project and cut project cut project and cut again you can always reset it if there's a shift project and cut and we continue until we've got 15 divisions along the perimeter. Like so. Like so. Like so. Like so. And like so. So we've got 15 divisions. So we now go back to the ratio. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to count from the end of the line four divisions so one two three four and I'm going to use a different color to more or less indicate that division there so it's basically this bit there so I'm just going to use the detail to indicate that so we can call that A All right. let's call that A so from four, I'm going to count five divisions. So four, one, two, three, four, five, or four plus five is nine. So we'll be on nine. So this is where our next division will be. So I'm just going to indicate that with a hidden detail. Okay, so I'm going to call that B. Okay, so that's that part there. Then the next part will be Sixth division. Okay, so from nine, we're going to count six, and that should give us fifteen. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Right. So I'm just going to indicate that. Like so. So let's call that C. And then I'm going to call this N C. So this basically gives us the division of the triangle. So we've got CA, AB, BC. So let's assume that this is a triangle. All right, so A, B, C. So let's say if we cut along C and we stretch it out, this is basically the representation. So that's why I've got CC there. So if we were to form a triangle, okay, fold the line into a triangle, this is basically what the division will look like, okay? And again, in terms of how we go about representing the triangle is more or less up to us, we can represent the triangle on top of the perimeter, which I'm going to demonstrate in a bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to firm out AB, with a black pen, okay? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a compass. I'm going to stand at A, open to C, like so. I'm going to scribe an arc, like so. I'm going to stand at B, open all the way to C, 
like so. So where the two arcs intersect, that more or less depicts point C. So this would be C, the other end of the triangle. And all I have to do is to complete the triangle by joining the ends. And like so. And that is basically how to complete the triangle whereby you've been given the information regarding the ratios of the side and the total distance around the shape, which would be the perimeter. Again, if you don't want to do it this way, we can separate the triangle from the division of lines. This is what I'm going to do. So let's get our T square. So again, we can use um, the concept from exercise uh, three. We're not talking about all part three. We're not talking about um, triangles. So we can do it this way um, if you want to. So what we can do is just draw a line like so. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take AB like so. Then stand there, cut, stand there, and cut, so that's basically R A, R B, print the T square, fill now. This is going to be quite quick. Okay, then I'll take the distance, A C, and if you want to double check, now have a girl doing it yourself, take the measurements of the size of the triangle, add them up and you should get approximately 200. So I'm going to describe an arc at one end, okay, and then I'm going to do likewise here, so take BC, stand at B, cut to intersect, so this is RC. Then the last thing I do is to connect all points to complete the triangle. So this is more or less a recap on part three when we're talking about uh, fundamental construction of triangles. So you can have a watch see. There you have it. So that's basically uh, the triangle and the solution to the problem relating to perimeters and ratios. So, all right, folks, see you for the next one.